In this session, we would be discussing the net paper 3 for psychology July 2016. Now, paper 3 comes in uh, 75 questions, so we'll be covering 25 questions in 3 sessions. Now, this time, uh, most of the questions were based on uh, factual information, especially for the set we have worked till now. So, it's important that you must be very familiar with the basic experiments based on which you have the general questions that are asked. So, now this is a question which is directly related to the penis cake experiment. So, under that, uh, the penis cake was a factory pub worker and before he met an accident where his skull went through a tempering rod that he had in his frontal lobe, he was previously a kind of very honest, very sincere person. Later on, after this accident that he met with, he turned into an impulsive, irresponsible and less concerned person. So, the main damage was to the prefrontal cortex in the frontal lobe. So, this is again one of the questions that is based on the experiment. We had similar questions that we will see in the next set that would be based on the Bronox Zoo experiment. So, now this the answer would be the frontal lobe. Next question, types of scaffolding. So, there are four types of scaffolding that we talk about. Here we are concerned with just one that is conceptual scaffolding. Conceptual scaffolding talks about what we learn and the key concepts which guide you to learning. So, encouraging brighter students to help weaker students would be the correct answer here because punishing in any case won't be a correct answer. Introducing practice sessions after every module would be a kind of procedural scaffolding and then you have fading support as a student's proficiency increases. This is what is uh, instructional scaffolding and the four types of scaffolding would fall under this category. So, here the correct answer would be brighter students once they are clear with the concept they can guide or they can help the weaker students. So, the correct answer would be D. Now, next question an individual who is high in achievement motivation would take tasks which are intermediately difficult because if the task is very difficult the probability of not succeeding in the task would be higher therefore an individual who is very high in achievement motivation would prefer only intermediate difficult tasks and this is the reason because they are always motivated to avoid failure so both are correct and reason explains the assertion correctly next question you have a social worker who is appointed to assist the psychiatrist. He, uh, he administers and interprets the Roche's test. Now, Roche's test is one of the kind of personality test which is a projective personality test and interpretation of such personality tests in psychology can be done only by psychologist. A social worker if he is doing so, it would be considered as incorrect or unethical practice. So, one would be the correct answer here. Next, facial feedback hypothesis means. Now, facial feedback hypothesis explains that if you are in a social situation and if you are forced to smile, then ultimately you will feel good and you will feel like smiling. So, facial feedback hypothesis means your facial expressions affect others' emotion, that's correct. And your facial expressions provide feedback to the brain about the emotions. Both of these are correct. Now, in the choices, it has been incorrectly, mis uh, incorrectly mentioned as D and C because D is all of the three. So, definitely there is a misprint that is here. It should be A and C. So, the answer would be A and C. Next question. Which of the following instrument cannot be utilized to measure emotion? Now, a sphagnometer measures the blood pressure. So, a person who is emotionally aroused would have higher blood pressure. Then you have the skin response that we measure and the pupillary measurement that has been uh, seen in the recent studies. So, digital thermometer is the only incorrect option here. So, answer would be C. Next question. Now, you have the various disorders and the associated symptoms. Pill rolling movement or pill rolling tremors are commonly seen like movement of the fingers, fingertips that could be seen and that is common in Parkinson's. Then you have flashbacks or uh, kind of memories of the past that strike back common in PTSDs, post traumatic stress disorders, appetite loss common in depressive disorders and E. coli are common in catatonia or catatonic schizophrenia. So these are the correct matches. Next, 
what would be the correct symptoms uh, sorry correct stages of personality development according to rollo mayer so rollo mayer's personality development theory talks about the correct stages as innocence rebellion ordinary consciousness of the self and creative consciousness of the self so b would be the correct option here next crispy effect talks about rapid changes in the performance as the size of the reinforcement is varied now crisp crispy effect talks about that uh, there is a maze in which rat has to find the food now if the amount of the food increases the speed for the rat to find the food would increase so as you are changing the size of the reinforcement the si there is a significant change in the performance level so you have that which is understood by crispy effect now it's important to note that under crispy effect the most important thing here is that this can be applicable only to the concepts that have been previously learned and not to a new concept creativity is considered as a sum of three p's that is product process and people and people have potential so it would be a b and c would be the correct answer here next question in solomon's ash study of conformity subject conformed to the group approximately what percent of the time so the correct answer here was 32% of the time on an average he believed so the nearest match here is 35% so we will put the answer as 35% next now this is again the concept of justice theory that we talk about so here what is asked is first is the fairness of the amount and when we are talking about the amount we are talking about distributing it so it's a kind of distributive justice however if we are talking about the ways in which we are using it we are talking about the procedure so it's a kind of procedural justice so you have c as the correct option here next question mand is a verbal behavior which is reinforced by the listener who carries out the command tact is a method of naming things so a kind of naming each and individual thing would be tact ecoic means repeating what someone else is saying so if mama says something the child would speak the same thing so that's ecoic behavior and autocratic is a kind of grammatical framework that we provide for understanding the grammar concepts next is you have to match the scales with the test now the zuckerman kulman personality questionnaire includes five scales the most important of that is impulsive sensation seeking besides that it includes sociability then you have neurosit uh, neuroticism aggressiveness so these are some of the scales that are included under zuckerman kulman's personality test then you have roche's inkblot test that includes lambda studies uh, sorry lambda scale then you have the california psychological inventory that talks about the structural scale and finally the thematic apperception test given by mure the tat analysis that talks about abasement as one of the psychogenic needs that mure described so these are the correct matches next question secondary reinforcement explains the fractional anti uh, antedating goal response system we'll cover this in detail when we'll be taking a separate session on learning this year there had been lot of questions on learning so we'll cover it soon and we'll discuss this in detail now next question again on factor analysis as we have talked about uh, in the previous sessions when we have solved the papers uh, there are few things if you remember those first was promax is a kind of non orthogonal uh, rotation met method that's the first thing that we talked about and then you had the very max rotation system so very max rotation system was another type of rotation system which talked about um, non orthogonal factors so you have very max which talked about sorry very max talked about orthogonal factors and those orthogonal factors are uncorrelated why Promax talked about non-orthogonal or oblique factors. So that's the first thing. Now, what is asked here is to match the factor uh, the terms in the factor analysis with their explanations. So the first is factor extraction method or principal axis factor method is one on the same thing. So that's the correct uh, correct match. Then you have the 
Kettle's analysis. Kettle's analysis was based on methods to decide the number of factors that have been used in the rotation. So that's uh, sorry. That's again the correct match. That's five methods used in the factor of rotation. Then you have factor rotation method. Factor rot rotation method can only be applied in oblique factors. So you have Promex as the method. And you can find out inter-factor inter correlation only if the factors are correlated. If they are uncorrelated, you can't find out the inter-factor correlation. So, Verimax is kind of uncorrelated. So, Verimax cannot be the answer. So, the only choice remains is correlation among oblique rotated factors for inter-factor correlation analysis. Next question. Which of the following identity status talks about individual now, these are the four identity status that we will discuss in detail in a separate session. Now, moratorium is a method or is an identity status that talks about exploring things which are not yet committed and the goals for which are not yet chosen. So, that's what is the correct answer for this. That's D. Next question. Scientific study of creativity was given by Gulliford, that's again the correct answer. Next question. You have the match list which has been given to the components here. So, what you have to do is you have to match the list with the components. So, meta components are higher order mental processes that guide the uh, problem solving efforts. So, that's the correct option. Then, selective encoding talks about the set of information which is relevant for one's purpose. So, this is again a definition of it. Motivating oneself implies marshalling the emotion in the service of the goal and finally practical intelligence by definition implies using mental components to help one to adopt shape and select an, an environment that is appropriate or good for oneself. So that is what is how we define practical intelligence. Next question. Now this is a part of the culture schema theory. Culture schema theory given by Nishad explains that culture exerts a strong effect on memory by operation, operating it through various culture schema. However, the individual memory is most influenced by one's own culture or the culture in which he has been brought up, he or she has been brought up. So, this question, uh, the correct answer would be own culture effect. Next, evolutionary social psychology research seeks to now evolutionary social psychology talks about the role of the genetic factors and how they affect the social behavior. So correct answer would be B. Next, which of the following is right to explain flash bulb memory? Now flash bulb memories are specific, not like the, uh, they are kind of episodic memories. So they are kind of much more specific and not like the semantic memories. So, since they are specific, unspecific would automatically be removed. However, there is some misprint because B and D are again the same. Both the things are same in the question. They are specific, they are surprising and they can be of unimportant event. Uh, for example, 9-11 uh, tragedy can be important for Americans but not for Indians. However, it becomes a kind of flashbulb memory for most of the Americans. So, you have the information that is specific, surprising and unimportant events would be the correct answer. Also, it's important to note that this is not the only criteria under which you will have flesh bulb memory formation. However, you should read this question in such a manner that this is one of the criteria that would lead to flesh bulb memories. So, C would be the correct option. Now, you have the assertion reason question. You have heteronomous children who are able to distinguish between the right and wrong, the f uh, three stages of moral development given by Piaget. So, heteronomous children focus on objective consequences rather than intention. That's correct because they try to replicate what their parents or their elder ones are doing. And moral development in heteronomous child is limited. It is just because of this reason that they are, uh, they focus on objective consequences rather than intentions. So, reason is the correct explanation for assertion. Next, you have the psychologist and the phenomena they talked about. So, you have to do a correct match. Ebbinghaus talked about the nonsense syllables in the theory of forgetting. 
but let's talk about the use of meaningful word in contrast to ebbinghaus theory then you had mure who talked about the tat analysis where he used short stories and finally levin explained that some tasks could be completed and some remain uncompleted so that was the concept was that was propounded by levin so these are the correct matches and finally this question is based on a kind of more um, uh, logical analysis because what is asked is which is important with respect to effective teaching now first to understand effective teaching is i would have to match the level of students like say these are the level of students who are suitable for grade 3 so once i have a level that i have matched for the students i can specify the learning goals once the learning goals are done i can emphasize on self comparison and then i can suggest improvements and model problem solving can be done so a would be the correct answer here as you saw most of the questions were theoretical and based on simple logics uh, even if you work around the uh, comprehensively through most of the topics you should be able to solve this paper we'll be covering the remaining set of 50 questions in the next lessons you can subscribe to our channel for any further updates have a good day ahead